All right, everybody, it's Dr. Dan. I'm going to split these videos up to be small so you don't have to sit down for a full, like, 50 minutes or an hour to watch the videos. Um, the next, So this is where we left off previous video. The next video, we're going to draw our blood vessel cross-sectional areas. So I'm going to start with our major vessel that's feeding all the others on this plane one. So we just want to add a sketch to plane one. I'm going to put a circle, circular cross-section blood vessel at the origin. Okay, I can use smart dimension to define the size. Uh, I don't know, I'll make it 16 millimeter diameter. Nice and big. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm, I'll go ahead and just add another circular one here on plane three. Can use smart dimension for it. This one I'll make a little bit smaller. I guess we'll make it 12 millimeter diameter. So now I'd rather make some that are a little more interesting than just circles. We, we can do circles all day. Um, but let's go ahead and make something that's a different shape on this plane. So I'll choose plane four, sketch. Again, I'll use the spline tool. And you can use the spline tool to make, you know, a lot of different shapes. So I'll draw all these points, and as long as you connect them at the end, it basically will make some sort of funny shape for you. So let's just say that's our shape. That may be a little bigger than I want, because I, I really want it to be not as big as this blood vessel, so I can actually go ahead and use the dimension tool on this. So I'll go back into that sketch and use smart dimension. And so like say from this side to that side, yeah, I don't quite want it that big. Maybe I only want that about 10 millimeters. So it resized it for me. Um, and that's, that's probably closer to what I want. And then we have this last um, one and I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm going to loft from one shape to another shape. So I'm going to start with the circle on this end. So we can start with plane two, sketch, just a circle. Again, we can make this 10, because I drew it close enough anyway. But where it intersects the main vessel, we're going to make it a little bit different shape. So on this plane, I'm going to draw a sketch, a spline. Maybe just something like that. Yeah, I want to make sure it's not too wide, so I'll go back and edit the sketch and make sure my dimensions from end to end are reasonable. They look pretty reasonable, but I'll type in a 13 in there just to be sure. Okay, so we have all our cross-sectional areas of our blood vessels defined, and now we just need to extrude them to make blood vessels. And so there's a lot of ways to do this. Um, I recommend the best thing you can possibly do is do everything in surfaces first and then you thir thicken the surface to make a solid. So SolidWorks can't run flow simulation on surfaces, but it can run flow simulation on solids. And so we could build this out of solids, but I find that's a lot harder to do than just making all surfaces first. And then once you have your surfaces done, you go ahead and make the whole thing into a solid by thickening the surface. So the first tool I'm going to show you how to use is extrude. That's similar to the um, boss extrude, but it's just going to make a surface. Extrude is, if you can use extrude, I would say use that as much as you can, rather than the loft tool, which may have less predictable results. We go to insert, surface, extrude. I choose my cross-sectional area. So right now it's choosing the wrong way. Um, it's also choosing blind. I'm going to go ahead and say, I want to extrude up to a vertex, and the vertex I want to extrude to is that one. 
So it's just going to make an extrusion that is only a surface. You can see it's basically a hole with technically zero thickness. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this one up here. So I'll do insert, surface, extrude. Again, we're going to go ahead and go to the vertex. Okay, so there's two of our lengths. Um, this one's a little bit funny, right? Because we don't want it to be a straight extrusion. We want it to follow that path. And so the way to do that is a sweep. So I say insert, surface, sweep. And it's going to ask for two things. First, the profile, which is this. And then it's going to ask for the path, which is this. And so it will just draw that sweep just like we asked. There are some other options if you need to look at them and need to fix things. But for the most part, it should work just like that. So that's pretty cool. And finally, we want to do a loft where the shape of the vessel changes between this and this along that line. So we can do that by doing insert surface loft. OK, it's mad because it had something else selected when I'd started that. So I'm going to select that profile that profile. And the thing about the loft that can get messy is it matters where these two little green dots are. So if I like bring drag this green dot around here, it like twists. You can see how it kind of twists the, the shape onto itself. So I try to put the green dots basically lined up on the same side so it's not twisting uh, the blood vessel. But there we go. That looks pretty good. But you can see I have my basic blood vessel shapes. The next thing I need to do is go ahead and actually connect everything together to where we have a good solid interior, right? You can see there's openings. If we look in there, you can see this one's like blocked by this other one. So how are we going to do that? And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the next video.